Hi, it's Lushan. If you've just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for supporting me here on Lushan's Lifestyle. I truly do appreciate you. So today's video is my debt snowball, the last debt, snow, debt snowball update for 2020. So yeah, it's been a whirlwind of a year. I think we all can agree to that. Um, however, um, I was able to kind of keep my snowball rolling for the most part, for which I am grateful. So let's go ahead and take a look at where I am ending for 2020 in regards to my debt. So I'm in my net uh, December section of my planner and this is my debt snowball page. I shared this page is shared with um, also my savings tracker and a video will be coming for that for my savings. But right now we're going to deal with the debt. So just disregard that part. Just block that out of your memory. And what we're going to deal with is the debt snowball section. So let's go ahead and take a look at my first creditor, which is uh, American Express Goal. And American Express Goal is my current debt snowball item that I am throwing additional monies to to get it paid off. And I started initially, um, which was my ending balance for November, I started at $4,817.06. I normally make a minimum payment and I've just set it at a minimum payment of $165, even though it usually comes in less than that. But um, I paid $165 towards it and then I also put an additional $120 to it. So my total payment towards American Express Gold is $285, no charges. The finance amount for this month is $83.41. So currently I owe, oh, let me bring you all in a bit. Currently, I owe um, $4,615.47 um, to my American Express goal. So I got it below the five. It was had been standing 5000 for a while because it wasn't my item, but now it's gone down. It could have been below 4000 However, for the month of November and also for this month, I used $350 to go towards some other things. Um, in November, I uh, helped a church with flooring and um, stuff to refurbish like their annex area. And so I was happy about that. So I didn't mind giving that. And then for, of course, for December, the holidays, I wasn't sure and all of that. And I don't have a Christmas sinking fund. So I used 350 there. So that's $700 that I could have, that would have gone, but it did go to a good um, source. I mean, a good, um, what do you say? A cause, a great cause. So I'm not mad about that. And I am happy that I'm still at least under the 5,000 mark. So I'm okay with it. Next um, creditor is my personal loan. And that is with BBVA Compass. And um, that I started at $10,811.38. Uh, the payment it was seven fifteen fifty three, and uh, no charges, of course. The finance amount is one thirty nine fifty four. So currently, the personal loan is at ten thousand 
$235.39. So I will be into the, be leaving the five digits and down to the four digits come uh, January. So I'm happy about that. That is gonna be super cool. Um, my little milestone, just every time you drop off a digit works for me. So we are start, uh, so our starting, or we, um, I started at $15,628.44. So my payment, total payments I made for this month, $1,000.53, no charges. So my total finance I paid out or that was added back to the balance was $222.95. So right now my debt is at, my consumer debt is at $14,850.86. So yeah, it's coming down quite nicely, so happy about that. So that is consumer debt. So what I wanna do now is let's take a look at my student loan debt. All right, so I have uh, two student loan. Well, it's two loans, but it's the same creditor. So the, first, um, the creditor is Ed Financial, and I do have the type of loan that is in forbearance. Um, so it's Ed Financial A, and that is, uh, I started out at $3,838. I made a payment of $35, which I have always done. I didn't stop, even though I don't have to pay anything, now they've extended the forbearance and zero uh, interest, so zero interest, no payment. To, through the end of January 31st. So now I officially technically would not have to make a payment until the end, until when it's due in February, but I never stopped. So um, I kept that going. So the finance amount is zero. So that's great. And that's one of the reasons, why, this is one of the reasons why I kept it going is because I wanted to try to get the principal balance down take advantage of trying to get it down. I say, even though it's a small amount, it's still something. So while they were giving us this opportunity of zero finance, I wanted to kind of take a, advantage of that. So currently this student loan is at $3,803 even. Okay, and then Ed Financial again, and I put my total line on the on the wrong thing, um, and I don't have my whiteout with me in this location, so it's gonna look a little wonky, but that's okay. I know what it's all about. So, if I natural B, I started at ten thousand six hundred and thirty dollars. I did put seventy five dollars towards that no finance charge. So currently this loan is at $10,055, no, $10,555 and zero cents. So yeah, I'll redo this line, but you all get the gist. So now my, I started out at 14,000, 468 and zero cents. I made a total of $110 towards my student loan. Um, zero finance amount. So currently I owe $14,358 even on my student loans. So slowly but surely, um, they're coming down. So let's just do a recap. So debt paid for this month for 
consumer was one thousand dollars and additional fifty three cents and for student loans a hundred and ten dollars so for my debt payment for this month it was one thousand one hundred ten dollars and fifty three cents for my debt snowball so it is coming down nicely i'm super happy that i was blessed um, and i'm so grateful that i was blessed to be able to continue to pay my bills because i know there's a lot of hardship going on out there right now but um i'm just sending love and light and just you know hoping and praying for the best for everyone and that we can all make you know uh, some strides and rebound after this year and hoping that 2021 will be a heck of a lot better than what we've just went through or what we uh, almost to the end of 2020 what we've been going through with 2020 so yeah so that is my debt snowball update if you've lasted this long in this video thank you so much I appreciate you you are a lifestyler and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel Click the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a video and like, comment, and share with your family and friends. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.